In this video, we'll be exploring short division and how to work out decimal answers. I'm going to work through six different examples. If you'd like to have a go at these examples yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. Here's the first example, 65 divided by 4. First, we need to draw our bus stop. We put the number that we are dividing, the dividend, inside the bus stop. And we put the number that we're dividing it by, the divisor, next to the bus stop. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. To handle the remainder and to get an exact answer, we place a decimal point and some zeros after the divisor. So now, instead of stopping at the remainder, this will allow us to continue dividing for a decimal answer. 4 goes into 6 once, with 2 left over. Then, 4 goes into 25 6 times, with 1 left over. Notice how we're using the zeros after the decimal point to keep dividing. As we're now working after the decimal point, we also need to place a decimal point in the answer. So next, 4 goes into 10 twice, with 2 left over. Finally, 4 goes into 20 5 times, with nothing left over. If there were still some numbers left over, we just keep placing more zeros after the decimal point and keep dividing. So the answer is 16.25. Here's the next example. 673 divided by 5. Remember, we need to place a decimal point and some zeros after the divisor. 5 goes into 6 once, with 1 left over. Then, 5 goes into 17 3 times, with 2 left over. 5 goes into 23 4 times, with 3 left over. As we're now working after the decimal point, we also need to place a decimal point in the answer. 5 goes into 30 6 times, with nothing left over. So the answer is 134.6. Here's the next example, 875 divided by 8. So we need to find out how many times the divisor fits into these numbers. Remember, we need to place a decimal point and some zeros after the divisor. 8 goes into 8 once. 8 doesn't go into 7, so we need to show that by using 0 as a placeholder and then having 7 left over. 8 goes into 75 9 times, with 3 left over. We're now working after the decimal point, so we need a decimal point in the answer. 8 goes into 30 3 times, with 6 left over. 8 goes into 60 7 times, with 4 left over. As we still have 4 left over, we need to place another 0 in the divisor. 8 goes into 40 5 times with nothing left over. So the answer is 109.375. Here's the next example, 8, 8, 592 3, 3, 3, divided by 3. 6 6 left over. Remember, we need to place a decimal point and some zeros after the divisor. Eight goes into 60, seven, 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 3 goes into 5 four once, left with 2 left over. As we still, As we still have, have 4 left over, we need to we place, need place another, another zero. zero. 3 goes into 29 9 times, with 2 left over. 8 goes, Eight goes into 40, into 40 5 3 times, goes into 22 7 times, with 1 left so over. The answer is 109. As we're now working after the decimal point, we also need a decimal point in the answer. 3 goes into 10 3 times, with 1 left over. 3 goes into 10 3 times, with 1 left over. 
As we still have one left over, we need to place another zero in the divisor. 3 goes into 10 three times with one left over. Notice how each time we bring down another zero, 3 fits into 10 three times with a remainder of 1. This process will just keep repeating. In maths, we call this a recurring decimal. We show a recurring decimal with a special symbol. We use a dot or a bar over the repeating digit. This indicates that the decimal 3 will repeat forever. Sometimes you may notice that a bar is used instead of a dot. Both are indicators that the number is recurring. So the answer is 197.3 recurring. Here's the next example, 199 divided by 8. Remember, we need to place a decimal point and some zeros after the divisor. 8 goes into 1 zero times, so we have 1 left over. 8 goes into 19 twice, with 3 left over. 8 goes into 39 four times, with 7 left over. As we're now working after the decimal point, we also need a decimal point in the answer. 8 goes into 70, 8 times, with 6 left over. 8 goes into 60, 7 times, with 4 left over. 8 goes into 40, 5 times. So the answer is 24.875. Here's the last example, 745 divided by 4. Remember, we need to place a decimal point and some zeros after the divisor. 4 goes into 7 once, with 3 left over. 4 goes into 34, 8 times, with 2 left over. 4 goes into 25, 6 times, with 1 left over. As we're now working after the decimal point, we also need a decimal point in the answer. 4 goes into 10 twice, with 2 left over. And finally, 4 goes into 20, 5 times. So the answer is 186.25. Now it's time for a challenge. Which of these divisions will result in a decimal answer? Choose the correct option, A, B or C. Let me know your answers in the comment section.